This is Ida in all her glory, and she's wonderful. She is glorious. Her slab, the layer of rock she was buried in, was split. So there's uh, part A and part B. This is part B. But the things we're missing in part B, like the hands and feet and the tail, are beautifully preserved in part A. So we have nearly every important bone, every important tooth, every important joint. Plus, this dark outline is the fur. We have the pelage, the pelt of Ida. And wait a minute, there's more right here. Especially well preserved in part B is the guts. We've got what Ida ate, and that's especially exciting to those of us who love the alimentary canal, starting with the teeth, through the stomach, intestines, the guts. It's very cool. Now, to get you oriented, Ida had a short muzzle, short face, like some monkeys have today and some apes. She had a very deep jaw, powerful jaw. She could chew the heck out of something, probably nuts, fruits, the center of fruits. Her teeth had low and bumpy cusps, not good for chopping meat. She wasn't grabbing birds and other, uh, other primates. She wasn't cracking clams, but she was biting the heck out of vegetables. Big eyes, gigantic eyes. You can probably see that right here. That's the rim of the eye socket. Big, big eyes suggesting that she was designed to hunt in low light at night or maybe at dusk. And a short neck, strong shoulders, strong upper arms, strong forearms. Her right forearm here had been injured in life. She was a youngster, but she had uh, a terrible injury down here, so she couldn't move her two forearm bones. Still, she looks like she was in good shape. Strong fingers, long but very thick and strong fingers, big thumb, short torso, the wonderful gut region, strong lumbar region. Um, the heart and lungs would be here, and some of the dark stain must, must be the remnants of heart and lungs. And then the waist region, hips, very strong thighs, short but a surprisingly strong shins. Here's that wonderful big toe. See, that's the hallmark of our order, the order of primates. We can grab things with the thumb-like big toe. We primates, except for humans and our ancestors like Lucy, we de-evolved. We took this divergent big toe and rotated it back. But what you see here is the hallmark, the, the key piece of equipment in the primates. Thumb, grasping, big toe, grasping.